Hey everyone, I'm Artem Kashkanov and this is the future of relay computing. This is my three completed blocks of ongoing project. Relay computer with codename BrainFuck PC. BrainFuck is a codename of the most popular esoteric programming language. And of course, if we want to build PC for BrainFuck, it should name it BrainFuck PC. Sorry for that. For those who does not know what is it, BrainFuck esoteric programming language, let me describe a little bit. In this programming language, you have an array of 8-bit cells. So each cell can store a value from 0 to 255. And you can change this value by 1. So you can do increment or decrement. These are two commands of BrainFuck programming language. You have an address pointer which corresponds to current selected memory cell. You can increment and decrement address pointer so you can select next or previous memory cells. So you can work through memory. These are another two instructions. So you have increment and decrement instructions for data cell, increment and decrement instructions for address pointer. These are BrainFuck instructions. You can print current value to the console or read it from the console to current memory cell. And two additional instructions allows you to create loops. The idea is the following. This is some example of a BrainFuck program. This is the beginning of one loop. There are some decrement of address pointer instructions. This is the beginning of another loop. So you execute all instructions inside the loop. And when you find closing lap instruction, you look through the memory and answer the question, is current value is x equal to zero or not? If it's not zero, that means that we have non-zero loop cycle variable. So we start next iteration and that's all eight instructions of BrainFuck esoteric programming language. Let's return to BrainFuck PC. The architecture of my computer allows me to perform all these instructions natively without any transformation. In the center we have 16-bit adder with a carry. It's a full adder. On the once input, we have 16-bit register, temp register which stores old value of uh, instruction pointer or address pointer or current data. On another input, I send 12-bit bias. It's not so optimal to use shift left or shift right or increment or decrement, so we can do early transformation of uh, our program and if we have 10 increment instructions we can do old value plus 10 and not doing plus 1 10 times so we use bias command register for doing that the result of adder us is sending to instruction pointer if we trying to calculate new instruction number or address pointer if we trying to calculate new address or send it to RAM directly. When clock signal goes from 0 to 1, I calculate new instruction pointer value. I just need to do IP++ to get next instructions and load it into a command register. Construction of my machine looks like this. So we have five blocks, each with its special function. We have eight 16-bit switches and we have a big memory module with 32.16 LED display. The center block is a 16-bit full adder. On the left and on the right of adder we have 16-bit register. So here two 16-bit register and here. Here instruction and address pointer and here temper and command register. On the bottom we have two blocks of command logic. Switches I use for connecting these three blocks between each other for creating 
data following for each command. On LED display we can show 32 words of some address region. Sit. Yeah, it's contain microcontroller and microcontroller it contain mostly powerful than the whole machine, but it's used only for two main functions. First is uh, console in and console out instructions. Second, it's a binary loading into memory. So when you creating program on BrainFuck which can do a little bit more than hello world, it contains thousands of instructions and using just simple switches looks like horrible. And I think the most easy way to start performing programs on my PC is to ask microcontroller to put binary into memory. Code section to the code segment and data section to data segment. This is a block. It's a register block and it contains 32 little models. Each model can contain four or three read relays, so it read relays res 40, res 64 or res 55 and the most interesting thing is that this relay can work on one and a half kilohertz of frequency, so the whole computer can operate with a speed of 100 hertz and as I know it should be the world fastest computer, I hope. Okay, the base element is a model. 32 models are combined into one block. We have five of them. Each block has baseboard. Here on the top it has just 32 pins. On the back side it has quarter thousand of pins for wire wrapping. Each baseboard have no circuit and we manually using wire wrapping technology connecting model between each other and creating the whole block logic. Each model have some base logic, for example it's a dead trigger, I have model with 2xor, 2ntor for example, so a little very base logic which we can create on three or four relays. This is two already tested blocks. Here is header block and here is two 16-bit register block. To the input of header block I connected two switches so we can change the value we throw into header and we see that uh, LEDs are switching. Output of header block connected to the input of high register block, so these two lines is one register, these two lines is another register. And we can see that the result of summary operations throws into the input of highest block. This is switches, 16-bit switches, it's uh, read relays 2, res 43, it have two normal open contacts, read contact, and I need eight relays for creating 16-bit switches and I need eight of them for building my machine. I additionally have some indicator board, it looks like this, it's a Soviet vacuum tubes, EVA 6, I use some logic for showing 16-bit value on these vacuum tubes. For example, for showing current instruction pointer value, for showing address pointer value, or showing current number of performed instructions. For understanding how much we need to execute before program ends. This uh, PCBs of models which are not soldered yet, so I have still a lot of work before BrainFuck PC project would be done. <laughs> At least I should double number of blocks. 
So, thank you for watching, subscribe to my channel, but uh, it contains mostly Russian videos. Set likes, sharing this video to others, and thank you for watching. Bye!